Hi, I'm Matthew McMahon, founder of A Puritan's Mind. I want to give you a little background to the reason that I made this message for A Puritan's Mind. In 1992, I read my first Puritan book. Having been converted as a Christian, having desired to see more of Christ, I had this first summer experience where during school, I decided I needed to have something to read and study in between classes. So I walked into the bookstore, looked around, and there was this one book that jumped out at me, The Death of Death and the Death of Christ by John Owen. That was the first Puritan book that I ever read, as hard as it was. It helped me to understand one of my favorite verses of all time, which was John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that everyone who believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. I wanted to understand and know Christ deeper, and Owen helped me do that initially. Then came William Ames. Then came Francis Turretin and Christopher Love. And as I began to read the Puritans, oh, about 1996, the internet started to pick up speed. And I thought to myself, as much as these great writers and preachers have helped me understand more of the Bible and understand more of Christ, we got to get these guys out there. How can we do that? And I thought, well, let's get them out there thinking like a Puritan, thinking like they thought concerning the scripture, thinking like they studied. And so a Puritan's mind was conceived around that time. A year later, I learned some basic web development skills and old HTML programming, and a Puritan's mind was born. The first three Puritans we had on the site, on that very old site, was Francis Turretin, William Ames, and Christopher Love. And William Ames had that great line, that great quote, theology is doctrine or teaching of living to God. And that's what the Puritans helped me do. And that's why I wanted to share what I was learning with everyone in the world. I thought the internet is an instantaneous global network. How can we get the Puritans out there? We'll post some of their ex excerpts and some of their writings and some of their dissertations and some of their works. And so I started with those three, coupled around John 539, search the scriptures. And so that set the basis and foundation of a Puritan's mind. And since then, which is now 20 years in the making, I've invested everything that I have, time, money, outside help, everything that I could muster to make a Puritan's mind what it is today. It has hundreds of Puritans, thousands of pages of theological literature from reformers and from Puritans. It is the largest reformed and Puritan website on the internet that is faithful to the 1647 unedited version of the Westminster Standards anywhere. And so in looking at the importance of what a Puritan's mind is about and what it's trying to do in glorifying Christ and bringing reformed literature as far across the globe as possible, we even started the Puritan shop because there were so many books and treatises and sermons and different things that the Puritans and reformers had written that no one had ever been exposed to before. And being in academic circles, I wanted to bring many of those great, most rich, dripping with the sweetness of Christ, those great sermons, those great books, as far and wide as I possibly could. So in starting the Puritan shop, we started taking these treatises and sermons and books and translating them, not simply taking pictures of the book and putting them out there, but instead taking those old manuscripts, typing them out, tediously typing them out, some of them are hundreds of pages, and then updating them in modern English so that it's easier for us to understand them. 
And in doing that, we get exposed to some of the greatest writing in the history of the Christian church. And so a Puritan's mind birthed the Puritan shop. A Puritan's mind, its emphasis is on Reformed and Puritan theology. And so investing and time and all of the resources that I've had, I've put into a Puritan's mind to bring it as far and wide as they possibly have capability of doing. And yet, I'm at this particular point where my resources are almost exhausted. And I've never, in 20 years that this site has been up and been out there, I've never asked for any financial help. But we're at a particular point now where we're using computers that are 10 years old. When we turn them on, they tell us this computer can't be updated anymore because the operating system is no longer supported. Things of that nature are happening now and we just don't have the finances to be able to replace them. So I'm appealing to you and I'm asking you, if this ministry, if a Puritan's mind and these writings and what we've done over the last two decades have been a blessing to you in any way, I would ask for your help. Your help to support what we're trying to do and bring Reformed and Puritan literature to the ends of the earth. Why is that important? Because last month alone, we had 50,000 visitors from China, communist China, coming to a Puritan's mind. We had over 10,000 from the Philippines. We had over 25,000 from various countries in Africa. A Puritan's mind is reaching the ends of the earth with Reformed and Puritan literature. And we want to continue to be able to do that. The site needs to be updated. There is develop, development issues that need to be corrected and fixed on both sites that we have that we just, we just can't do right now. And so I'm asking for your help. At the bottom of the screen, there's a link and it's our support page. And it allows people to subscribe to help a Puritan's mind monthly. $5 a month, $10 a month, $20 a month, $100 a month. We would most appreciate your support. Thank you. And may the Lord bless you as you study Puritan and Reformed theology that you might see the Bible and the Lord Jesus Christ more clearly.